Good evening and salutations, my GH fans. Before we get into the episode, I had a really good day. I know it has nothing to do with the episode, but I had a really good day. Um, so this woman I've been dating for a while, been having a really good time, and for a couple of days, I was dreading telling her about my OnlyFans. Not so much because I feel ashamed of her or anything like that, but just because, <clears throat> with me, I like to be honest, you know, just honest about everything. And I didn't really know how she was going to take it, but she was actually pretty cool about it. And, um, yeah, the rest of the date went well, but, yeah, um, so yeah, it was a good day. <laughs> it was a good day. Um... With that being said, let's get into the episode. I'm going to be honest, this episode didn't really do much for me. Like, at all. It wasn't a terrible episode, but when I watch these episodes a lot of time and they don't do anything for me, like for me... I feel like if it doesn't move the storyline a little bit further, it's like... Eh... And I don't know, was it because it was just, like, I, I have no idea. I, I really don't know why this episode didn't really do anything for me, but, um, so let's talk about the new Spencer for a minute. Off the bat, I gotta sit there and say I like him better than the old Spencer. The old Spencer to me was just annoying. Just really, really, really annoying. Um, I am so glad that they finally properly aged him, which, by the way, he looks just like he could be a son, um, Nicholas' son. So that's that's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is after Trina comes in, drenched in pig's blood, and I'm I'm gonna be honest. I understand that it might look horrible as far as like her mother looking at it and everything like that. But I was just like, when she came downstairs and she was like, you know, are you hurt or anything like that, and Trina was like, no, it's not my blood. And then she asked. Like, a, a similar question again. Like, are you sure? Are you, are you cut? Are you hurting anywhere? It was like, she just said it wasn't her blood. I felt like, to some extent, and I know maybe this is just me, but um, I, I felt like they kind of took it a little bit too far. Like, I get it. She was drenched in blood. She was terrified and everything like that. But, like, I don't know. I felt like after, like, a good 30 seconds, I was like, all right, I'm kind of, like, over this whole thing. But she goes in the back, she changes, and then a new Spencer comes out, he starts talking to her, calls herself calls himself Victor. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just like, what are you doing? I guess he's just gonna sneak around in town or whatever, and eventually he's gonna have to sit there and tell the truth and Well, we all know how that's gonna sit there and turn out with Trina, but um he talks to her or whatever and tells her, encourages her to go out there and have a good time. This is after he starts badmouthing Ava. Um, and Trina is just not having none of that. Um, so he kind of drops it a little bit. He's like, oh, listen, just go out there, have a good time. Don't let whatever happened before ruin everything. And um, just have a good time. And with that being said, you know, she's like, are you coming with me? And, you know, he's like, oh, I'm working in the back, whatever. I'm a back bartender or something, bar back or something. That's what I think he said he was like a bar back or something. Um... He's like, yeah, I'm going to be back there, whatever, but you go out and have a good time. And when she leaves, you know, he goes out there. Well, he goes in the back. I guess he picks up his duffel bag and realizes that he has, you know, pig's blood on him. I'm going to be honest. What was the pig's blood for? What was that for? What was I going to do? He said that he set a trap for him. That involves pig's blood? Like, really? I mean, because the only thing that you did was... Mess up her gallery, probably messed up a bunch of expensive um, art paintings and stuff like that. So, what was your like goal? What was the? What? I just feel like th there should have been something more than just, oh, I got you, I caught you a pig's blood, yay! Like that's that's really it. That's. I mean, I don't expect a bear trap or anything, but something. <sighs> okay, whatever. Now, out there, back on the floor, whatever, you got camps, and they're talking to 
Jocelyn and you know you talk about the um, the journal and they kind of both realized that well Dev was the one that wrote in the journal because you know you had to think for Jocelyn at the time and I'm not gonna lie that whole thing was so it made very little sense it made very little sense because one minute you know Dev no Dev well no not Dev um, Jocelyn was in a dev, she kissed dev, and dev was like, hey, listen, I don't want to sit there and cause, you know, any friction or anything like that, any, you know, messiness, you know, like, these people are giving me a go home, I don't want to sit there and mess anything up. And then out of nowhere, he starts to like her. I'm just like, bro, what are you doing? Like, what happened to the whole, oh, we shouldn't do this because, you know, technically we're cousins, you know, to everyone else's eyes, and I don't want to mess up anything with Sonny and Carly, like, what happened with that? But anyway... You know, so they realized that Dev was the one that wrote in the journal, and, you know, that's, you know, how this whole misunderstanding took place or whatever. Anyway, um, Trina comes out, they, you know, decide to continue with the party and uh, dancing and all this other stuff, so, yeah. Meanwhile, back at the, um, at the gallery, somewhere along the lines after Dante, you know, after, um, Ava... And Jordan get to the um, you know, get to the gallery, you know, Dante Smith they catching them up on everything, and Nick was like, yeah, I'm the one that um, you know, sprung the trap. You know, at first Ava was like concerned, like, yo, listen, I don't need you going out there trying to hurt yourself, wherever this guy is, like he's dangerous. I don't, I don't need you doing that. But then, like, two minutes later. Nicholas and Ava get into the same damn argument. Nicholas doesn't want the divorce. He wants to sit there and try to cuss this person. Ava is like, listen, I'm not putting my daughter's life in jeopardy for us to sit there and try to prove some sort of point to this stalker who can clearly get past all your security. Um, I'm not doing that. So it was just the same argument. And after a while, just like, I'm not going to lie, I kind of started looking at my phone like, oh yeah, they're still arguing about the same thing. All right, cool. They're done? No? Oh, okay. All right, cool. That's literally what it's like, was watching that. Um, but once again, Ava's like, listen, we're going to do it. We're going to do the voice. I'm doing it no matter what. She walks off. And then later on, Nicholas kind of just leaves. Um, what the hell is my damn drink? I was actually going to call her, Ke I think that's her name, Kelly... I think that's her name? The woman that plays, um, Britt? I was literally about to call her Kelly, but anyway, you got Britt, you got Jax at the bar, they're talking about Jason, and, you know, Britt is snitting defending Jason, and of course, you know, Jax is snitting there saying that he's selfish, this, that, and the third, I'm like, he's selfish, right? Really, Jax? You really want to start throwing stones? Really? But anyway, he's bad mouthing because you know they're, they're talking about the um the marriage and everything like that. And I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't understand how Jackson Smith they're buying this whole marriage. Like as far as a, a romantic sense between Jason and Carly, like they had so many opportunities to sit there and hook up, be together, and everything like that. And the fact that Jax is just like, oh yep, you know, they're you know number one. I mean, yeah, they have a relationship as far as looking out for each other, but. It's a best friendship thing at best. I'm surprised that Jax was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't see this coming. I mean, I, you know, it's, you guys, you know, you guys are in love. Like, really? You really think that Carly is going to be that tactful, that tactless to sit there and know that her husband's dead? You're like, all right, cool. I'm going to sit there and shack out with his best friend. You know, every time I sit there and I say that, I sit there and think about this as us. And I just, I... Anyway, they're talking about that, and, uh, you know, they're drinking and drinking and drinking, and, you know, the pub is about to close, but, uh, the night's still young, and, uh, you know, when Jack's like, I don't want to go back home, and, um, what the call Kelly still? Brit was like, well, why don't you come home with me? I was like, yep. Honestly, tell you the truth, let's be honest, everyone knew this was going to happen the minute that you saw those two drinking at a bar. That was going to happen. 
okay? So it was only a matter of time of us all just looking at our watches, looking at the time, be like, all right, so when are about to hook up? All right, the bar's closed, I'm sorry, I guess it's about to hook up now, right? That's literally one of happening. He wound up hooking up, and, um, you know, it's obviously, I'm assuming that it's just a one-night stand, but, you know, at this point, I, it's, it's probably going to be more. I mean, let's be honest, you know, Jack's been striking out with Nina for quite a while, and to be honest, I'm just like, bro, <laughs> I mean, if anything, she's definitely an upgrade to whatever the hell you were chasing. She is definitely an upgrade, okay? Don't go back to... <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll just wait and see, but um, I was going to sit there and say it's a hookup probably, but... You know, these soap operas is usually more than just a hookup. <sighs> Let's talk about Nina and Curtis for a minute. Because after Nina was sitting there talking to Taggart, and I think, you know, Nina was like, oh, I think he, I think he was sitting there trying to flirt with me. He was hitting on me. And I was like, when? I mean... I honestly tell you the truth, I'm not gonna lie, the scene was kinda boring as hell, but I was literally like, when 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 did it hit on you? Do do I need to rewind this? Because I didn't see that. Anyway, Nina is not there trying to get Curtis with Portia, and Curtis is like, oh well, you know, um somebody must have backed her off off of me, you know? And if it's not Taggart, then who is it? Come on. Seriously? How many other people do you have in your life that's not there meddling? Well, I, I guess you could sit there and have Jordan, but besides Jordan, I mean, come on, you don't, you don't really have two other suspects. Either Jordan or Stella. It, it should be obvious who it is, but he's literally sitting there trying to rack his brain around, sit there and wonder who was the person that pushed, you know, Porsche away from him. And I'm just like, did you actually sit there and think, could you sit there and think that maybe it was you? I mean, how she kissed you, you kind of backed off, and then the next time you really go and see her, this is after you get shot. She might still sit there and think that you don't want to be with her because, well, actually tell you the truth, you know, they didn't even get the, yeah, somebody actually said that they didn't even get divorced yet, but he's in the process of getting divorced. So, you know, maybe she just kind of just was like, you know, this guy is still married, he didn't even get his divorce papers yet, signed, like, what's, what am I doing, you know? But, uh, I guess we'll just wait and see. I have to tell you the truth. I, I, I look at this situation and I'm just like, Curtis, the problem with this situation is even if he does have those divorce papers signed and everything like that, I mean, Curtis is somewhat old-fashioned. I'm pretty sure he, he's not going to sit there and, and sign them one day. Then, like, the next four days, your portion was good. You, uh, you know, go on a date? Like... What is the, you know what I'm saying? Because he keeps it to saying, like, what is the protocol for moving on and stuff like that? I'm like, bro, the first thing you need to do is, is like, get your feelings straight with her. Because even when he was sitting there talking to her, he was like, well, you know, what if I am ready? Come on, bro, make up your goddamn mind. What are you doing? <sighs> Curtis sometimes vexes me. He's not a terrible character, but... It's times like this where I'm just like, what What are you doing, Curtis? Like, what are you doing? Now let's talk about the last scene, I think. And that's the Pentonville scene with Molly, TJ, and Sean. So, they go and see Sean. And Sean pretty much tells, you know, them that, you know, Lexus is in solitary because... There was a miscommunication or whatever, and, you know, Alexis somewhat kind of pushed the guard, and she got pretty much sent into the hole for, like, three days or whatever, and, you know, Molly's like, you know, she's probably going to want to lose it because, you know, just her and her thoughts alone, she's going to go crazy, which, I have to tell you the truth, she starts to, I don't want to say go nuts, but she's starting to lose it. It's, it's, it's clearly that she's starting to lose it, but, um... You know, he catches her, catches them up on that, but then he sends TJ away, he talks to Molly, and he's like, yo, listen, this is all, you know, just Carson's doing, you know, because of all, you know, 
when we were looking through the papers and the files and stuff like that, you know, he pretty much told her that, well, they tend to go more harder on people of color than of, um, you know, Caucasian people. And, um, you know, he was sitting there talking about that. And Molly was like, alright, cool, listen, I'm going to sit there and take care of this. And Sean was like, uh, no. <laughs> no, you do not want this woman coming after you. And, and worse off, you don't want her, you don't want your mother sitting there worrying about you. Because to be honest, she already had trouble on her, you know, trouble of her own. Which, by the way, what happened to, um, you know, the six foot tall chick? I was about to, you know, go to work on Alexis. I mean, was Cyrus really sitting there trying to, like, you know, like, did Cyrus hire her to do that? Because even though Cyrus, like, even though Cyrus isn't sitting there paying her anymore, I mean, there's, there's nothing stopping her from sitting there putting, you know, put, going to town on Alexis. So I'm just wondering when that's going to sit there and, like, play a part again. Or maybe not, I don't know. But, um... With that being said, you know, when they're done with their, you know, meeting or whatever, Molly goes to uh, TJ, and Molly's like, you know, remember when Carson wants to sit there and, you know, put me on her wing? Well, I'm going to sit there and, you know, take her up on her offer. I'm like, this is going to be a great story. It's going to be a great story because this is already a bad idea. I mean, you know, people of power want to stay in power, and... You snitch to try and get close to this woman thinking that you're going to outsmart her. And she's had years and years and years of doing really bad things. She's not an idiot. You know, she didn't get away with this for as long as she did just because she's stupid. So I always find it really funny when people try to, you know, like in these soap opera situations where they try to go undercover or they try to sit there and try to like, you know, get dirt on someone. And they think that they're so smart. And they don't realize that the person that they're usually going after is about two or three steps ahead. But, um, she thinks it's a good idea. I'm pretty sure TJ's going to sit there and back her, even though he probably thinks this is a terrible idea. He's going to back her anyway because, I, you know, I, at this point, I don't really know about TJ. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm still not satisfied with the fact that he just forgave her so fast. I get it. The... He kind of had to do it because of the plot, but, like, like, this chick cheats on you, and you're ups you're more upset with that guy than you are with her. You're just like, right, I'm going to be upset with you for, for four hours. After four hours, we can, we can, we can get back together, but for those four hours, I am, like, really? Okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know about this episode. I don't know, was this episode just kind of just out there because, well, like, technically, I don't even know if today is actually a federal ho holiday. Because I know 4th of July was yesterday, but a lot of places are closed today. No. Excuse me. I know a lot of places are closed today because during my date, when we went to go check out different restaurants, most of them were closed suck because I really want an Italian but um so I don't know why this episode maybe it had to do with the fact that today was kind of a holiday and they were just like alright we gotta shoot anyway I, I don't really know I, I have no idea before at least for me I felt like I didn't really get a lot out of this episode but um let me just double check my notes I feel like I'm missing something, but I felt like not a lot happened this episode. I can't think, except for the new Spencer. Except for the new Spencer, you know, at the end, he's not there looking at photos of, you know, a photo of, like, you know, his dad and Laura and stuff like that, talking about father, I'm doing this, you know, this is best for you or something like that. Some crap like that. I'm just like, all right, bro. <laughs> Listen, I get it. I really do. He did not like the, the way that Ava screwed him over, but, you know, listen, Ava, Ava needed to get a face fix, okay, and for plot reasons, it needed to happen, plus on top of that, I mean, really, how much time was Valentin really going to sit there and get, he had good lawyers, it was most likely he was going to win the case anyway, she just got to, well, fix her face, 
But um I don't know, this dude this dude <laughs> This guy is still, no, you know, he's still tired about that, so, you know, I, I get it. I, I'm not going to lie, I, I really can't think of anything else that, that happened that was important. But, with that being said, if you think of something that's important in this episode, please write it down in the comment section, because I'm... I don't know, this episode didn't really do much for me, so to be honest, it was kind of boring, and, like, it didn't really go... Only stuff that was actually pretty interesting, besides the Brit and Jack stuff, was the Spencer stuff. Um, because even, well, a couple of days back on Instagram, they was saying, Hey, you know, give a, you know, like, give a warm welcome to new guys, can be Spencer. And it's like, alright. <laughs> I mean, granted, if you didn't want to be spoiled, fine, even though I knew in the comment section, but... It's like, for anyone that didn't want to be spoiled, it was like, right there on Instagram. So it was like, you just, well, they were just going to make sure that you didn't miss it. But, um, I don't know. Other than that, this, this episode didn't really do much for me. But if it did something for you, please tell me. And please tell me why. Because I definitely want to know. Plus, obviously, I always read all the comments. Or at least as much comments as I possibly can. Which is like 98% of the comments I sit there and read. Um, but yeah. So I hope everyone actually had a great day. Um... Not gonna lie, that was actually a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. About telling her about the whole, you know, OnlyFans thing, but, um... I mean, it wasn't like, I wasn't gonna not tell her, but... Anyway, I'm glad it worked out. Um, but yes, with that being said, I'm gonna go. I wanna thank everyone for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. See you in the next video.